So last night you may have seen this post pop up on Team Weed 420, the BMX meme page that is currently ruling the land of all meme pages in BMX. And you may have seen it and kind of wondered what, what is this all about? And then you may have creeped your way into the comments and seen that there are a lot of people hating on this stem right here. What stem is it? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in this video and kind of ask the question, why are so many people so upset about this stem? The stem is the Cinema Projector Stem. The concept behind this is basically a front load stem with top load rise. It's got 25 millimeters of rise and it accomplishes this with an extra bit of material on the bottom that you're seeing right now that allows it to be at more of an angle while retaining the front load feature of it. And then it's also got a little bit more machining out of the top of it for your headset cap to go in the recessed headset cap design that you've seen in a lot of other stems just a little bit extra on the front of it taken out. With that, there's not a whole lot more different about this stem. And it kind of begs the question, like why are so many people so upset about this thing? But before we get to that, a few more pieces of information about the stem. It's made from 6061 aluminum. It's 11.6 ounces. It only costs $54.99 and it comes in black, polished or iceberg blue. You can get it at bike shops or mail orders anywhere that has access to blackout distribution and cinema BMX parts. And now to get to the part of the video that I think a lot of you might be here for. Why does it feel like so many people are so upset about this stem? I don't know if it's just the people on Instagram who are leaving comments or what, but when you go on the internet right now and you see these posts and you see all of the comments on them, you really get the feel that just this is the thing to hate in BMX right now. And I don't understand why it's truly a mystery to me. I saw this thing in person and held it at Ray's way back last winter at their blackout dealer appreciation night. And it just was another stem to me. It was kind of cool of a concept. It was like, oh, this is something different. And I don't know if it's just something to do with the fact that this thing is different and looks different than other stems that are out there, or if it has something to do with the fact that there's really not much to hate on in BMX right now, and it really genuinely feels like BMX is a giant herd mentality. I don't know if that has anything to do with it or what, but it's definitely a real thing if you think back to the trends of things that have been hated in BMX in the past. And I don't know if this stem has anything about it that necessarily warrants it to be something that is universally hated on in BMX. If you guys have any insight or you absolutely hate this thing, and you have a genuine reason for it, let me know in the comments down below because I'm curious. And like I said, I saw it in person. And I thought it was just kind of a cool concept. If you want a front load stem and you like the look of it, but your back hurts or you need a taller rise, then this is something for you. You get to keep the front load look while having the rise of a top load stem. Some people don't like the look of top load. Some people don't like the look of front load. It's all freestyle. And I'm genuinely confused on this whole topic. And of course, you're always gonna have people on both sides of the fence of things. You're gonna have the people that absolutely love this thing and might not be vocal on these posts. Then you're gonna have the people who are hating on it and vocal on this post. Then you're gonna have the majority of people who are the silent majority that probably just don't care. And that's something that I definitely wanna address here because there's probably a lot more people that just really don't even care at all than care on one side or the other. But if all we see are the vocal minority of people hating on this thing, and every single time something new comes out and people just hate on it, eventually companies are gonna get sick of putting time and resources into something new and then having it be hated. So they just stop altogether and you end up kind of where we're at in BMX right now, where everyone makes the same sh it all looks the same and everyone's psyched on it all and it's all the best thing ever, even though it's all realistically the same thing made in the same factory by the same people using the same tubing with different logos on it. And with that, I feel like it deserves its own meme. I made one right here that I think fits this situation pretty well because you've got people who are screaming for something different in BMX. We want something different. Then you give them something and then they scream and yell that they hate it and it's the worst thing ever. And then you give them what they're used to having and they're like, hey, 
and that's where this comes in. And that brings up another point here. There have been some pretty ugly looking stems that have come out in the BMX world. I'm not gonna show pictures or anything like that. Everyone has their go-to ugly stem whenever that is said. And this is coming from someone who firmly believes in freestyle and being different and being yourself and all of these things. And the differences between this cinema projector stem and other just normal mainstream BMX stems that are out right now are nowhere near as severe as the differences between some of the crazy stems that have come out in the past and what is out there now and what was out there at the time. So that's another thing that kind of just leads me to believe that this is another one of those bandwagon hate situations and people are just kind of jumping on board because maybe it's fun to talk shit. Could it be that simple? Let me know. I think that's a lot of what's going on here. I could be wrong though. Let me know if I am in the comments down below. Leave your input down there as well. I hope you enjoyed this bite-sized BMX news video. If you guys are new here or you're finding your way here from somewhere else, consider hitting the subscribe button while you're leaving your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for being here and goodbye.